welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. And today I have the distinct pleasure, and later I'll have the opportunity to actually taste, um, but I have the distinct pleasure of having in the studio Chef Stephanie Guidry, and she is owner of Twice the Spice Caterers. Stephanie, Chef Stephanie, yes, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Oh, you know, there's so much that I really want to ask and so much that I want to hear from you. So I'm going to start off with how did you get started? You know, why this business? Oh, why well, now? Um, well, I have five children mm. and three grands now. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <Yes. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I am um, basically um, family. My house was always the house that family came by to enjoy mm -hmm. a good meal. Mm -hmm. So when we had barbecues, or should I say I had barbecues, mm -hmm. it was like Christmas and Thanksgiving. It okay. wasn't just hot dogs and burgers. It was the mac and cheese, greens, candy, yams. It was the works. Okay. Uh, uh, you have chicken. a plus one next yes. time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was everything. You know, so, and I supplied everything. I didn't want anyone oh. to bring anything because because I wanted everybody to come and just feel comfortable, get away mm -hmm. from home and just relax and chill with family. Mm -hmm. And we invite friends as well. Mm -hmm. So that's how it kind of started because I had that feel, that hospitality in me and that cooking skill in me already. Mm -hmm. And I learned a little from my mother, of course, mm -hmm. and my great grandma with her delicious bread pudding that I picked up. Ah, <laughs> yes. Bread pudding. Yes, it was absolutely lovely. So as time went on, I worked to raise my children. Mm -hmm. And I needed to make ends meet, so I started doing catering jobs on the side. Mm -hmm. And it just, it, years passed, and I continued to do it, but on the side, mm -hmm. you know, because sure. I worked for um, a corporate company for like 12 years in hospitality. Mm -hmm. So I picked up a major part of my hospitality skills by working in other companies, mm -hmm. other Important. major companies, okay. yes. Okay. And then I just start just, just watching them, seeing what they're doing, the mm -hmm. best of the best. Mm -hmm. And I picked up on more skills. And then I found the way to go about it to make it legal. How can I go and get my licenses, um, my serve safe certification? What do I need to do? In turn, I was doing all of this on the side. And then I moved out of town, down Texas. Wow. They okay. have fabulous schools there for my youngest mm -hmm. son to go to school. Okay. And my daughter was in Afghanistan. And she said, Mom, mm -hmm. come on back, you know, with your catering. And you know that's what you really love to do. And I came back on the East Coast, and I just started making it happen. And okay. it just all came really from my family and okay, my children. Your family. Just your family making sure and that, yeah, my children was always and still is always number one in everything that I do. Wow. So, yeah. Okay. So they say that necessity is the mother of invention. In this case, your yes. mother and your great grandmother <laughs> helped you invent what you yes. have right now. Yeah. Take me back to the bread pudding. Why does that stick out in your memory as? Oh. The dish. My great grandmom, she used to she used to clean homes. Mm -hmm. So when she would come back, she would have all kinds of bread, like pumpernickel bread, rye bread, all kinds of bread, oh. and she would just let it. Um, it would get stale, mm -hmm. and she would say, "Well, this is how you do it. You let it get stale, and then you put it in the pan." I'm all little, like waist side, sitting <laughs> next to, you know, standing up, like, "What you doing, great grandma?" Yeah, really. So she had a big old pan, and she just had all these assortments of breads because my mother didn't buy that. It was like white bread back then, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but she put it all in a pan and soaked it in the milk, and mm -hmm. I was just there watching everything with the cinnamon mm -hmm. and the making the raisins right, right. and all the savory. So. That's, it, it just stuck with me. That's one moment that's very memorable because I was there with her, you mm -hmm. know, through the time. And then I stayed there and I mm -hmm. sat in that chair till it baked. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and you had a receipt. You weren't giving that yes. up. Okay. Great. And it formed and she great. cut it and I tasted it. And ever since then, I've been in love with <laughs> my great grandmom's bread pudding that I make today. Okay. So, yes. Okay. You think it's still the same recipe? Well, you know, I tweak it a little bit because okay. I add pineapples <laughs> to oh, mine. Oh, yeah. So okay, I, I okay. twice the spice that I gave a little Chef okay. Steph G okay. flair. <laughs> I love it. So, I love yes, it. Yes. Wow. Mm. That is significant. Yes, it is. And, and taking the corporate experience, the hospitality mm. experience, as you said, learning from the best of the best, right. and having that be an additional foundation for your own business one day, yes, that's yes. really powerful. Yes, and yeah. that's where I I get that I only give the best. Is okay. I can't not give the best. Even if mm -hmm. someone has a couple dollars, I still give you the best. You want to get the best couple dollar meal you can possibly <laughs> get. I like that. <laughs> because that's that's how I'm trained. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. in me, you mm -hmm. know. So 
I just love it. <laughs> you do love it. Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah. I, I see and hear the passion. Mm -hmm. When you were coming in and I yeah. sort of met you on the sidewalk, you were showing me some herbs from your garden. Yes. Can you can you share those with the audience? At least let them see them. Oh, Again, yay. I'm taking them home. Yes. But um, what's yes. what's in here from yes. your garden? Well, on the way here, I stopped at my um, urban farm. Mm -hmm. It's organic and mm -hmm. grown without pesticides. And I brought back some mint. So we have the peppermint here, which mm -hmm. is absolutely fabulous. Okay. And this mint at the bottom, though, is heirloom mint from 1940. My great grandmom. Okay. But this is a different great grandma. This is on my father's side. Oh, okay. That was my mother's side. Okay. She grew this cement. And what we do is we just transplant it into different areas. So wow. my dad, when she passed, my dad transported down North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So we had a family reunion last year I put together. So I went down North Carolina and transplanted it mm -hmm. back up here at my urban farm. Okay. And now I have this heirloom mint that you can't get because some things have, you know, like the... GMOs and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So it's right, always great right. to get heirloom product because oh, it's, okay. it's the best product. Okay. So we have that there. And then we have a little thyme. And mm -hmm. I use thyme like, you know, all the time. Yes. It's a savory all that I time. absolutely love. Mm -hmm. Thyme all the time. Mm -hmm. And sage here. We have some beautiful ah, sage. And, sage. Okay. and the strawberries are coming up. So we have mm -hmm. some lovely, fantastic strawberries. Oh. So I decided to bring this for the great Miss Fran so oh, to get her okay. care package. Thank you, thank you. Much, much appreciated. <laughs> yes. Very significant. <laughs> Um, yes, terrific. Yes, yes. And then what else do you have here? Oh, this here is my fabulous, fabulous. My mouth is watering. Uh, sorry. <laughs> when you taste it, you're going to drool. <laughs> okay. This is an orzo salad. Like we go to parties and a lot of people want parties. They say, oh, pasta salad. Mm -hmm. But I do orzo salad and they absolutely love it. So this is mm -hmm. one of the number one salads that people always request. Okay. So it has some vegetables that come from the farm, farm fresh. Okay. And that's a part of our like fill to fork cuisine that field we do. Field to fork. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> is, that your, is that your thing, field to fork? I've heard of field to farm or farm to right. table. Farm to table is mm -hmm. out there, but since I don't have the animals, you ah. know, because they were using a lot of farm to table for that. And we right. still use farm to table for vegetables. Mm -hmm. But field to fork, that's just taking it to the next level because you, like, hey, bring it from the field, take it to the fork, rinse it off, and you have your great vegetables and Ooh, um, nice. herbs and fruits and things of that nature. Mm. So I wanted to bring you a little of something. Oh, so you can thank enjoy. you. Yes, thank you. I mean, I'm already a fan, <laughs> and, and this, this makes it really clear. How about the dressing? You were telling me a little bit oh, yes. about the dressing. This dressing is, you guys may not be able to see the inside, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but it is... You're going to have to shake it up, though. Mm -hmm. like, give it a little shake, shake, shake. Mm -hmm. And it mixes up here like that. And Ooh. it's my own vinaigrette that I make. And it has, like, all natural products. Mm -hmm. It has some herbs from the farm, mm -hmm. orange juice, the good oh, essential mm -hmm. oils, like avocado oil, a little extra virgin olive oil, mm -hmm. and a, um, apple cider vinegar. Not Ooh. the apple cider vinegar like other brands, but they're all mm -hmm. natural, like a Bragg's or something mm -hmm. on oh, that right. nature. Right, Bragg's. yes, okay. yes, that's really fabulous. And a little wow. agave nectar for sweetener, because I don't use sugars. Oh, I use okay. agave so that okay. people that have di that are diabetic, mm -hmm. they can have it as well. So wow. I try to keep all natural products, including like salts. So mm -hmm. I use like a Himalayan salt, not regular salt. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. you know, so it's really good. You're going to enjoy it. Yes, wow, yeah. I love it. <laughs> and, and you're really sharing part of your business philosophy yes, um, and infusing it with your passion, yes. sort of. And, and you're creating results. You know, you have customers and clients. What's the range of folks that you provide catering for? Wow, it's a, a range, like mm -hmm. that range you just did, <laughs> like mm -hmm. that. We've catered for uh, the Mayor's Gala. Mm -hmm. okay. We've catered for um, oh, just a couple at home, having okay. dinner. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Two yes. people? Oh, yes. We do okay. personal, personal chef service as okay. well. My catering company is broad. It's like mm -hmm. twice the spice caterers, then it's personal chef service. Mm -hmm. Then a gentleman called me recently because he wants me to come and prepare food for him and have it packaged so he can eat it at a later time. So I do oh, that sure. as well, okay. you know, and he okay. is on a specific diet. Mm -hmm. So I take all my, and since you said infused, healthy mm -hmm. infused comfort food mm -hmm. and put it together for people so they can enjoy that at his home as well. So mm -hmm. it, it, it's broad. So wow. my clients, they, they range from mm -hmm. um, children doing cooking lessons, 
with children. Oh, tell me about the cooking oh, lessons. Yeah, because we want our kids to eat right and <laughs> yes. be excited about food. Yes, the cooking lessons. I did one mm -hmm. in Philadelphia at Wharton Reed that was absolutely fabulous with the mm -hmm. teenagers, and they loved it. Mm -hmm. um, but the cooking lessons with the youth is, is fairly simple and it's fun. Mm -hmm. because they want to get in there and they they love experimenting mm -hmm. and right, they right. suck up all the knowledge because right. they're so young right. sometimes I can't remember stuff from last week <laughs> <laughs> so I have my you know the new age phones now and I'm putting everything in so I can right. make sure right. you know I don't forget but just teaching them to um, know that not only to eat good mm -hmm. but they can grow their own food mm -hmm. so we bring mm -hmm. them out to the farm as well okay. and they come out and they may plant some seeds and mm -hmm. then they can come literally. back later, literally plant some seeds, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and watch it grow to see okay. how much fruit and, or vegetables that they can get from it. Mm -hmm. And then I feed them a healthy lunch while they're out there. Mm -hmm. And so they have the whole thing of the um, education piece on environment. Mm -hmm. They also have the sustainability piece on that. Mm -hmm. And they also have the healthy eating part of it as well. And they get wow. to taste food straight from the farm because it tastes much better. You know, and they get to right. see that they can do it because if you right. live in Philadelphia, you can still grow food, whether it's in a raised bed mm -hmm. or um, if it's out in your backyard. Right. You know, you just right. have to dig it up and put the proper soil mm -hmm. and treat it properly. And um, yeah, it's just, it, it's so broad what I do. And I try to keep a broad range because I'm not just a caterer. Twice okay. the Spice Caterers is the catering aspect. Okay. But the corporation is Chef Stephanie G and Company and mm -hmm. it's LLC. So this way I can branch out and do everything in that culinary field that has to do with like the healthy infused cuisine. Excellent, yes. excellent. So when you think about your future, mm -hmm. how are you going to focus your energy for action so that you can continue to be significant and impact so many people's lives? Wow, it's, well, I'm working out more now. Okay. <laughs> Drinking more water. Okay. You know, and getting a little more rest. You know, because mm. what I do is everybody wants to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of work, it you know, work. but it's very re rewarding, especially mm -hmm. for me when I see results from people and they're, they're happy of the food is delicious. And I know I'm giving them the best quality food that I can possibly give them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm never giving anybody anything I wouldn't eat. And I only okay. like the best, so okay. I only give the okay. best. Okay, good, good. You know, so okay. I'm keeping my energy level up, getting a little mm -hmm. more sleep because I know that's very important. And also I'm sharing my knowledge with people and bringing more people in, just building a... a I guess you could say a high-powered or quality team yes. of people in different yes. fields and different aspects that mm -hmm. are interested in what I do as well as me being interested in what they do. Mm -hmm. And just so that it can grow and bring in um, college students on board as well, mm -hmm. doing internships. I have a young lady that I'm meeting tomorrow mm -hmm. and she's going to be out at the farm. So I'm spreading that word as well. And I just want to keep it going, you know, keep it going for the generation so they can Absolutely. know that they can do this. You don't right. have to go to the supermarket and buy food. You know, <laughs> get some seeds and put it in some dirt and just love it. And before you know it, you have an abundance of food that you can share with people. Excellent. So, yeah. Excellent. Twice the Spice Caterers. Yes, ma'am. And you're part of an LLC. You have an LLC. How can people get in touch with you? Because I'm sure at this point, they're really sorry that they're not in the studio <laughs> trying to fight with me over the fresh yes. uh, fresh food. How can they get in touch with you? Well, a lot of ways. Okay, good. But first, Run down a few. And you have a brochure, so you can oh, hold yes, that up as well. Yes. This brochure here just has some of the aspect of the, the farming mm -hmm. that we do. So we have this here. And this was one of the schools that we taught, and one of the young ladies here as well. Mm -hmm. And some of, oh, I forgot about this. We do healthy preschool lunches that oh, we deliver to okay. preschools okay. and stuff. So we Terrific. have that as well. Okay. Um, but you can reach me at 302-722-7108. Okay, so That's, by phone. Okay. Yes, by phone. Okay. You can reach me by um, website mm -hmm. at twice the spice caterers. Mm -hmm. com. Mm -hmm. You can go on Facebook mm -hmm. and reach me at Chef Stephanie Guidry, that's G-U-I-D-R-Y, mm -hmm. or at Twice the Spice Caterers on Facebook, Twice the Spice on Twitter, Instagram, Chef Steph G. Okay. <laughs> they like to call me that, Chef okay. Steph G. <laughs> well, Steph, so. <laughs> Chef Steph G, yes. <laughs> I will definitely call you. Oh, and yes. I am just really thrilled that you are here today with us. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your talents and definitely your treasures. Oh, um, and I look forward to bringing you on at one of my upcoming events. 
um, I enjoyed seeing you at a colleague's events. And so um, I can't let her have all the fun. So <laughs> I'm going to bring you on as well. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much well, for being thank here. Thank you, Fran. Yes, it's my pleasure. Thank you. And so, again, you see that we have significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. My guest today has been Chef Stephanie Guidry, Twice the Spice Caterers. Thanks again.